So, with the Doctor Strange movie being released on November 4th, I wanted to bring you guys the origin of Doctor Stephen Strange. Dr. Stephen Strange was a neurosurgeon, one of the best in the world, but he was incredibly self-centered. When asked to do charity work, his response was, Charity work? You must be joking. These are some of the best hands in medicine. They don't touch a band-aid for anything but cash. However, Stephen Strange was caught in a car crash while driving his sports car on one rainy night, and his hands were badly damaged and he was told he could no longer perform surgery and would have to give up medicine. After spending a tremendous amount of money on some of the best surgeries and operations he could find, there was nothing he could do to fix his hand. But Stephen didn't give up, and he vowed to somehow, someday, regain use of his hand. But then one day, while in a bar, Stephen Strange heard about someone called the Ancient One. It was said that this man could cure anything from scurvy on up. Stephen had heard of this ancient one before, even as a surgeon. Stephen was able to gather up enough money for a single trip, a one-way trip, to the east. A few days later, Stephen Strange found himself wandering in the Himalayan mountains. Then, finally, after several days of fruitless tracking, he found himself in a snowstorm. Stephen strained to begin to doubt, did this ancient one even exist? Was he risking all of this in vain? Was this trip pointless? But eventually, he stumbled upon a temple covered in snow. The temple of the ancient one. Stephen strained entered the temple and said he was a man of science, or possibly a hopeless prey to superstition. He asked who the voice was speaking to him was. The man retaliated saying, It is I who shall ask the questions here, and you who shall answer. Speak, Stephen Train. What mission brings you to this place of silence? You know my name. Then you must know that I have traveled far to get here, and I won't be stalled. I demand to see the one who was called the Ancient One at once, Stephen demanded. The man retaliated. Demand? Who are you to give order to the one who had trod the unnumbered centuries? For I am the one you, whom you seek. I am the one they call the Ancient One. Stephen tells the Ancient One, You can't turn me down as if, as if I were some whining child. I was once the greatest surgeon in the world, and I will be again with your help, or else. Halt, embittered one. Since the time out of mind, no act of violence has been committed here. None may lift a hand against one who is a master of the mystic art. I didn't come here because I believe in magic, old man. You're a trickster, and some faker with knowledge of rare secret earth. But I mean to share that knowledge, Stephen told the Ancient One. Ancient One introduced Stephen to his pupil, Mordu. To the snow, Stephen was trapped there with nowhere to go. He felt like a prisoner. So, Stephen went for a walk. As he heard the echo of his own footsteps, he discovered the startling terrifying truth. Stephen Strain stumbled upon the truth. The Ancient One pupil Mordu wants to kill or harm the Ancient One. Stephen Strain realizes he must tell the Ancient One about this, but Mordu has already caught him. He tells him that did you really imagine you could spy on Mordu undetected? Stephen tells Mordu that he won't let him get away with it, that he'll go tell his master, but then he realizes that he cannot move. Mordu then begins to attack Stephen Strain. But he does not start with a physical, physical attack. No, he starts with a mental one. He attacks Stephen Strain in the brain. Mordu then gloated about how there was nothing Stephen could do and how powerful he was before using his ability to clamp a piece of metal over Stephen's mouth so he would be unable to speak. The Ancient One appears and deals with Mordu. The Ancient One tells Stephen Strain that one day, when he is gone, it shall be Stephen's job to battle Mordu if you still wish to become my disciple. Stephen Strain tells the Ancient One he wants to be his disciple more than ever now. Dr. Stephen Strain then began his training under the Ancient One and eventually ended up becoming the hero, Dr. Strain. So yeah, that is the original origin of Dr. Stephen Strain. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Did you enjoy this type of content? Should I keep on doing this? Should I not do it? Did you guys want more comic book content? Tell me in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you going to see the Doctor Strange movie? Are you excited for it? I am. And above all else, guys, subscribe for more videos. Obviously, if you enjoyed it, you'll want to watch more. And above all else, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.